with Bean, and today we're here to destroy a trailer. Hi, I'm here with Dave of Advance RV. He's the owner. He's got 40 years of experience in repairing RVs. In fact, his company is the one that insurance companies in Utah send their trailers when they have significant damage like this one, and he's the guy that does the repair. So he has a wealth of experience on all the problems associated with poor construction. And Dave, what can you tell us about trailer construction? So let's just do a quick comparison what you guys do compared to the competition. So this is a stick and tin trailer. It's got seams everywhere you look and they cover them up with putty tape and some molding here and there. They all leak. When you least expect it, you go outside and your trailer's rotted out. That's what happened to this trailer. This is all water damage. This is the skin that covers it up. You can see where all the staples and everything are rotted out, letting water in on a regular basis. So out of sight, out of mind, in the spring, this is what you find in a typical trailer. This is a piece of phylon right here, and that phylon is what they use on a hung wall. And uh, it's normally glued to a piece of styrofoam or a piece of luon, which is better construction, but nothing okay. compared to what you guys so do. So if we compare that to what Bean uses, now what Bean does is they use uh, fiberglass, and they make a fiberglass shell and it's covered with gel coat just like a boat. The gel coat itself is quite a bit thicker than the finished product on these other pieces that I showed you. So this is a far, far superior construction. No seams, no screws, no rivets, uh, no staples, nothing to rot out and fall apart. Okay, let's go destroy some trailers. All right, let's do it. Um, typically not nearly as strong as what you're doing on a bean trailer and to prove that we're going to smack it with a sledgehammer and see what happens okay i'm going to get out of the way that's my note to get out of the way all right here we go let's see what happens to this pretty typical if you hit a bean trailer that hard and i think you've got footage of that you're going to find that that doesn't happen so like i said thin fiberglass sheet glued to uh, luan which is then in turn glued to a styrofoam core. That's all that protects you from the highway when you're in your RV. So one of the reasons we produce this video is we get a lot of comments of people who are comparing bean trailer to other trailers. Um, so now you know about the durability of bean trailer. If you feel like your trailer can withstand that kind of damage, this is the kind of sledgehammer you need. Thanks. Remember us to like us on Facebook and Instagram and remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm faster. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna put. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Richard. Think about all the times I've pissed you off in the last ten years oh, and okay. take it out on this trailer. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> 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 please, please wow, that's, up for that. that's some anger. <laughs> All right. Oh, I stole, I stole your hammer. <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> oh, that's a great picture. That is it. That is a great picture, man. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs>